Howdy, this is Isaac, but you can also call me Slug, or you can call me the Master Trader, Master Capitalist here. <laughs> 32 emeralds! <laughs> we can go add these to our total here now. I have been training those carrots we harvested in the beginning of last episode. And yeah. <laughs> So, welcome, welcome, this is episode 41, and uh, my nose is a little stuffy, sorry about that, hope I'm not catching a cold or anything, but, oh yeah, <laughs> almost a stack of emeralds there, that's really good. Uh, anyway though, the carrots are actually ready to harvest, so I don't know if you can tell, but I am very energetic right now, I'm very happy and excited <laughs> uh oh there's no boats left in our boat dispenser that's not good <laughs> wonder where they all went um anyway yeah, i'm i'm very glad i uh i'm starting summer vacation which is really nice and it's finally here and yeah i'm just really excited <laughs> uh so Let's go harvest those carrots real quick. I'm going to have more carrots than I know what to do with, I tell ya. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to do some work with the brewing system. We're going to try to get some, some stuff going. Oh, <laughs> it lags so much whenever I harvest it. <laughs> I love that. And that's another load of carrots. <laughs> Very cool. I guess I should probably pick up these ones. As annoying as it may be. I think this might actually be enough to replant as we walk along here. Let's see, does it refill very fast or... Oh yeah, okay. It just went back up to a stack. That's good. Oh, awesome. Okay. <laughs> so I guess I'll I'll, re I'll be able to replant this without having to invest extra carrots in from the harvest. They all just automatically end up here. <laughs> At first I thought that was a bug, but now I consider it a feature. Also, I keep missing them. That's so annoying. <laughs> Triggering everybody's OCD by leaving that one carrot spot unplanted, you know. Okay, this is boring, I should probably cut this. <laughs> yeah, actually there is more than enough carrots it's just on the on the rows there for me to replant. That's super awesome. I actually got like 15 more stacks just from uh, replanting. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay. Uh, anyway, I do actually have something I'd like to show you that I did between episodes. Of course, oh, is there someone at my door? Hello? Is there someone here? <gasps> oh my god! <sighs> Whoa! That. Oh my! Hey, stay away from my carrots! Got him. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yikes. <laughs> I I wonder where the, these mobs keep coming from. I think I have a, a dead space where the light doesn't reach somewhere around. Is it down here? It can't be down here, can it? Huh. Yeah, we're going to need to light this place up. Okay. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I do have something to show you. Let's uh, take a trip back to the main island here. I did a little bit of work on our main base. <laughs> I tell you, I've tried so many times to stop living in that little hole in the in the hill there. <laughs> but it's just such a good base, I can't leave. <laughs> I keep adding more stuff to it. Like I think my plan was originally to live in the sky base. I know that's that's probably not happening because it's just so convenient, it's just right here, whenever I need stuff. 
storage system right here for me to access. Anyway, uh, what I did, <laughs> without further ado, is in here I changed this wall up. Uh, we now have pistons and a room there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's still got the chest and everything, and when we flick this lever down, all these lights go off, and more importantly, the stairway gets revealed. <laughs> And up here I just have an access to say hi to our pufferfish friend, Brynlin. Hi! Brynlin! How's it going? <laughs> I hope you're doing very good. Oh my, wait was that, did it break? It broke my armor, oh my god. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's fun. Just a little room here and this door thing is so that mobs can't get me while I'm in my bedroom because they might be able to get in there somehow. <laughs> uh, you might have also seen there's a, like a secret lectern here. This it oh it doesn't have the book. Yeah right. <laughs> I was gonna put this book here. Uh, I was planning on making a list of all the people who are subscribed to me or who like my videos or you know anything like that who are my friends in real life. I was gonna make a list and maybe make some kind of tribute to them in my world put their names on a sign or something, I don't know, <laughs> but, oh my, <laughs> I forgot, oh my gosh, wait, I'm gonna die, <laughs> Brylin, wait, <laughs> uh, Brylin is awesome, but I think they've killed me a good few times, <laughs> okay, um, anywho, I guess we should start working on that brewing system. So let's see, I took out the target blocks from this, like the original ones, so I wanted to free up space for uh, new target blocks. So of course in the sky base we're going to have target blocks you'll be able to shoot from the ground and it will automatically uh, start brewing potions that it will give to you. We'll throw down to you onto the ground. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. Wheat and redstone is what we need. Uh huh. Target blocks. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. There's some good redstone stuff. Um, that should be about all we need. And I think this time I won't go with as complicated of a system. So it was kind of uh, glitchy a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you remember a long time ago we designed this little system with like a target and there was like a piston above it. You'd shoot the target and it would like extend and then like uh, dislodge your arrow so it would fall back down to you. I'm not really interested in doing that again. <laughs> I think this will be fine just as a normal target block. Yeah, and then that way... That way I can just use snowballs if I don't want to lose an arrow from it, but... I have a mob, mob farm up there, so... Of course, plenty of arrows from that. Okay. <laughs> and... Oh man, I'm gonna need to do some planning here. <laughs> Hang on. Oh boy. <laughs> this is shaping up to be a lot more complicated than I thought. Uh, but I think I got something going here. So basically, you can see the target blocks up there. There are quite a few of them, just to make it easier to aim for them. And the idea is... Uh, these targets on this side control the same thing, so like uh, those four in that line there going across, those are all, <laughs> sorry, hard to show you, but those are all the, all going to control the same brewer, so there will be four brewers in total. And <laughs> uh, I did get a start on the actual brewer itself. Here it is. <laughs> One brewing module. So. Uh, this is similar to the thing we have down there, except I did add 
a little bit more to it. Uh, pretty much we're going to have, like I said, four, possibly more. I might be able to put some in the corners here too. Uh, but one of them is going to be for like uh, any ingredients we want that will come through the nether portal there. We'll be able to like uh, throw them into a portal, comes out, brew whatever we want. Or uh, you hit these uh, target blocks here and it'll uh, brew a preset one. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. So, uh, I know that sounds pretty confusing, just bear with me, we will get something going and you'll see exactly what I mean. <laughs> uh, to show you what this actually does, first of all, this dropper here can drop items into this water stream, send them down to the player- oh! <laughs> Epic fail? Uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess maybe instead we want to do that, okay. As I was saying! <laughs> This can drop items down to the player, right? All the way down on the ground. And these ones are for bottles, right? So if we lock this hopper here, I'll show you. You can put bottles in, it, you trigger it, and fills it up with bottles. Uh, and then, let's see, oh, these are for the ingredients. You, that's just like what I showed last episode. You press that, all three ingredients go in order. And yeah, <laughs> so now it's the challenge of wiring this up so that it actually works. So my idea here is all three of these are connected up, so and they all have bottles in. So let's see. Yep, instantly three three bottles in there, uh, and they're all fed from the back here. Okay. So now we need to power all three of these at once. Oh, this is hard. Let me think on this. Ooh, got a little bit out of hand here. Uh, pretty much, <laughs> uh, I had to make a system for like a pulse extender so that this thing could basically uh, keep the hopper lock before uh, drawing the bottles out of the system if the potion isn't done yet. Basically, it needs to uh, keep this hopper locked, and this was a big problem for me. <laughs> Uh, but I think I got something here. I'm using a variant of the Etho Hopper Clock, actually. Uh, I've kind of just gutted it and turned it into just a basic pulse extender. Uh, with one side instead of both sides, you know. So let's see. <laughs> uh, we're going to want to press this button. Oopsie. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Uh... <laughs> no, what happened? Okay, we need... What? Oh, it's because of this redstone. Okay, I fixed it, and it was actually pretty easy to fix. Uh, it's just that this comparator was getting uh, sort of interacted with by this redstone line that was here. But I just moved the line away so it doesn't touch it anymore. And hopefully it should be good. I do realize, though, I wouldn't have even been able to brew potions in the first place because I didn't have any blaze rods, so <laughs> it's, that's kind of funny. Um, I think I had a chest, yeah, let's get, do I have arrows? Yes, okay, arrows, snowballs, and why not bring scaffolding? <laughs> I don't want to bring any of my redstone stuff because I probably have a chance of dying. So let's go to the nether here. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool though. I'm already noticing the potential of the brewer. I put that wall there, by the way, just so I know my, my bounding box. I don't want to build past that scaffolding wall uh, that I built. Because I want to keep this system very compact. Oh, I didn't bring any food. <laughs> oh no. Well, can't turn back now, can we? gotta make it past yeah there's plenty of monsters around this is kind of another reason why I want to reset the nether it's very this biome is just very hostile I think it's the worst one to start in <laughs> but um, I'm also very excited for that once I once I get all our brewers set up and I start getting the infrastructure in like all the hopper lines maybe then we'll start with the whole uh, nether stuff so we can actually link it up to the nether. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I was bouncing there for a little bit. 
Yeah, the great thing about this is I can just place whatever blocks I want in here. It's going to get deleted anyway, so <laughs> might as well have fun with it. Woo! <laughs> oh man, we're going... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Okay. Uh, right. Blazes. Oh, and I'm already down to half health. That is not good. <laughs> uh, let's just hope we... <gasps> Skeleton! Okay. I don't think it noticed me. Got him. Okay. Do you have any armor? No armor. Ooh. Blaze! Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Wither Skeleton as well. Uh... Oh god! If I, I think if I get hit once, I'm pretty much dead. This was a really poor idea. Oh god. This was a, a really poor idea to, to do this without any food. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna scaffold over. Alright. Like nothing ever happened, we're fine. Pretty sure if I get the blaze separated, I can take it out. There's a wither sc <gasps> Yeah! Oh my god. He's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot! No! Okay. Got it. Okay, got one blaze, but it didn't drop any blaze rods. Ah! Uh <laughs> This is a nightmare. There's wither skeletons around, and I'm—I bet they're gonna see me any second now. <gasps> oh, <laughs> blaze right there. Okay. Oh my God, wither skeleton right there. Ah. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, I kind of knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Still, that guy freaked me out so bad. Make the clutch. Make the clutch. Oh! This was a much better idea. Should have thought of this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go get our stuff back. It's just down there. And I brought food this time. Yeah, see, look at me. I'm all ready to go. <laughs> I'll probably still die anyway, but... Um, all right. Oh, that was a close one. Could have knocked that, that piglin off the bridge. But we gotta get there fast. <laughs> We're speeding. Ignore all traffic. Just plow through it as fast as you can. <laughs> it's an emergency, okay? Whoa. <laughs> Jump on the slime. Oh yeah, bounce on it, bounce on it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Almost there. I think I see a blaze. No, that's glowstone. Yeah, you know, it'd be really easy to fight blazes if there weren't all these wither skeletons. I feel like that's really what gets me most of the time. I think some of it may have fallen into the lava, but we got pretty much all of it back, which is good. We got the diamond pick back. Yeah, I hear the wither skeletons. <laughs> is that a blaze? No. See, it's very hard to tell. Ooh, wither skeleton. Okay, get in the boat. Yeah, haha. -ha. Gotcha. Play the smart move. <laughs> I thought there was a blaze spawner. Whoa! Diamonds! Cool. I thought there was a blaze spawner around here though. Maybe not? I certainly hear blazes going crazy somewhere. <laughs> like through the wall. I turned the game sounds up by the way a little bit ago. Hope that helps you to hear. Ha! It's not even challenging when you decide to be smart about it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna place blocks so I don't get knocked off. 
I'm going to notch an arrow into my bow. Hope the blaze is on the other side of that wall. Can we, can we hit it? No, nope, can't hit it. Got it. Oh my god. Not again. Get in the boat. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This might be funny. Goodbye. You got spleefed. Okay. I thought there was lava down there. That would have been really cool if there was lava. We knocked it into the lava, but... Okay. Oh, wow. There's all sorts of stuff in here. There's gold chest plates. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you coming for me? Nope. Haha. -ha. Gotcha. Ouch. Okay, one blaze rod. That's theoretically all that we need, but uh, I kind of want to get more. <laughs> Every time I go to the nether, it drives up the time of the episode from like 20 minutes to 30. <laughs> It's, it's always always a setback. I know I've said this like 10 times, but like still I'm so excited for when we build our real nether base after resetting. It won't be this- I won't die as much in the nether, I'd say. Whoa! Blaze! Thank you for showing me your whereabouts. I would not have even noticed you there. Haha. <laughs> Two blaze rods. Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Oh my god. This is not how I die. This is not how I die. Oh my god, I'm dead. Okay, so it's a little bit in the future now. I actually did that glitch where you log out and back in, and I managed to survive just due to logging out and in really fast. Uh, so that that is kind of cheating, I know. I'm sorry. Uh, whew. I just really didn't want to die again. Um, let's just let's just get out of here. Next time, I promise to play it super safe. Uh, yeah, like that's gonna happen. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but I got three blaze rods in total. Let's just head back. Man, I actually did get shot by a skeleton on my way back, but uh, I don't worry, I got all my stuff back, and I just want to speed this up, uh, cut everything out so I can show you <laughs> finally what we've been working for. Uh, basically, I think this should be ready. Got the nether warden, then the sugar. Got bottles in every dropper, and I'll show you there's nothing in there, just to show you that this actually works. <laughs> so... Yes, I think we got it. Yep, we have all three bottles in. It's starting to brew. That's good. Pretty much what we were wanting to see here is... This one is currently filling up. That's the pulse extender getting ready. We'll check back on that in a second. Okay, now that the pulse extender is fully filled up, it's going to start draining. And as it drains, it's going to be pretty close. Oh no, I don't think it's going to be able to. Oh, it's going to be close. We need the potion to finish brewing before this hits zero. Oh my gosh, did it work? Oh, whoa, it was like perfectly timed and I think we have speed. Okay. <laughs> so I think it might need a tiny bit more delay just to get that last potion. But it works for the most part. <laughs> We got speed potions brewing. Yeah, let's try it again, except this time it's got that extra delay. There's no extra ingredients, yep. No extra ingredients, which is good. It's exactly what we want to see. We got all three water bottles, okay. Well, let's try it here and see if it gets, I don't know why that extra potion for some reason it didn't get brewed. I think it was like cut off by the timings. This should give it enough time though. Okay, good, good. So now... Oh boy. <laughs> 20. It's a race, who's gonna win? We want the potion to win. 
Okay. I heard the... Yeah, okay, so that time it worked perfectly. We got all three potions just like we wanted. <laughs> hey, cool. Well, um... I think that was successful, so... <laughs> I'll do more work on this, I'll try to build more of them, maybe even all four. The next episode I'll be able to show you. Ooh, speed. Oh wait, gotta make sure not to die. <laughs> gotta go fast. Gotta go fast, yeah. You go fast, go fast, go fast. That's fun. <laughs> Alright. Bye bye everybody. Talk to you later.